Hey guys, today I'm going to quickly go over how to get the Gambit Prime weapons that you may have been seeing. They were showcased in the Vidoc a bunch, but it's never really been said how you get them. In Gambit Prime, you may have been rewarded randomly with an extra synth during gameplay based on what you were doing at the time. For example, an HVT kill gives a Reaper synth, invasion kills an invader synth, killing blockers or invaders a sentry synth, and dropping in a ton of moats a collector synth. These requirements are essentially the same for the Gambit Prime weapons, except the drop chance for these weapons is just really low. You are randomly awarded these curated masterworked weapons while doing things that earn you these extra synths. To make things easier, they're basically linked to metals. Invader synths are linked to the army of one metal, the reaper synth to the value hunter or potentially massacre metal, the sentry synth to not on my watch and potentially the blockbuster and or locksmith metals, sort of, and collector to half banked. For example, the sole survivor energy sniper comes from killing the entire team when you invade. I went in, killed four people, and I got the sniper. You'll get an invader synth when you do this the first time in a match, but the sniper itself is just a very low drop chance. You can also potentially get a synth from wiping out a bunch of the team's moats, 10 or 15 or so. The masterwork version comes with outlaw and snapshot. Pretty good perks, but it doesn't have the scope reticle that I like. This one comes with the triangle top. I like the dot. That's personal preference. The submachine gun bug out bag has a low drop chance from a high value target. You can also get Reaper Synths from a Massacre Metal. This is the easiest weapon to get because killing an HVT is the easiest thing to do to proc one of the weapon drops in Gambit Prime. The curated version comes with Multi-Kill Clip and Slideways. Multi-Kill Clip is pretty good as long as you're killing multiple targets per clip, but Slideways is... Eh, it only restores like 5 bullets. The hand cannon spare rations is the collector weapon, and the trigger for it is where you need to bank 50 moats in a single match or bank a giant blocker. 50 moats is pretty tough to do in Gambit Prime when you're actually trying to do it with a full team. I can't even imagine solo. Giant blocker is a bit more reasonable. Again, solo queue, I imagine it's a bit tough to do. And you need the full collector set to do it, or most of it anyway. The curated version has overflow, which gives you 28 bullets in your magazine when picking up special or power ammo, and it also has explosive rounds. 28 bullets in a hand cannon is a cool novelty, but you can get by without it if you have a reload speed bonus. And explosive rounds aren't bad, but they aren't as good as they used to be. The shotgun is the sentry trigger, where you need to kill blockers and invaders. While I haven't gotten it to drop myself just yet, it comes from killing blockers and from killing invaders quickly after they invade you. These are what trigger the sentry synth, so I assume they are linked with the shotgun. The curated version is full auto and auto loading holster, which is a pretty bland roll. It is 60 RPM, or in this case 66 because of the full auto, so it shoots a little bit faster than Mindbender's Ambition at the same level of impact. So. I guess that's noteworthy, but otherwise that's about it. Tier 2 Reckoning can drop the shotgun, sidearm, scout rifle, and sniper rifle, both curated and not curated. The weapon will drop instantly upon completion of the boss kill. Tier 3 Reckoning can drop the hand cannon, grenade launcher, pulse, auto, and SMG. These weapons do not drop very often though. I did maybe about 5-7 to seven runs of Tier 3 Reckoning, never got a weapon. So you can expect to grind for a while if you're hunting for something good. While doing the opening quest line for the Drifter, there are also some opportunities to get these items, as he'll give you a random item every so often whenever you complete an objective. But for the most part, you're going to be farming Reckoning if you want a randomly rolled Gambit weapon. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting.